everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Marie and today I would like to show you how to crochet these adorable and soft baby pants. This is a fairly easy project and you can find the written pattern on my website adorecrea.com so that you can follow along in both text and video. So let's get started. For this project I will need two skeins of this yarn, drops baby merino and I'm using color number 37 light lavender. I will also need a 3 mm crochet hook and I will need some scissors and a darning needle. I will start my pants with making the ribbed elastic waistband and for that I'm going to make a slip knot and chain 13. Next I'm going to make a single crochet into the second chain from the hook and I will make a single crochet into the next 11 chains so that I have 12 single crochet in the row. To start row 2 I'm going to chain 1 and turn my work. And for row 2 I'm going to make a single crochet in every stitch of the row but I will only work into the back loops. So I'm just going to insert my hook into the back loop of this first stitch and make a single crochet. And I will do that for every stitch. And here into the very last stitch of the row I'm just going to make a single crochet through both loops of the stitch. So just a normal single crochet. And I will chain one and turn my work to start row three. For row three I'm going to make a single crochet into the next six stitches working only into the back loop. Next I will chain one and skip one stitch. This will create a small hole for the waist strap that I will put in later. And next I'm going to single crochet into the next five stitches. And in the end I'm going to chain one and turn my work. And for row 4 to row 7 I'm just going to make a single crochet in every stitch across, working only into the back loops. I am now done with row 7 so I'm going to chain 1 and turn my work. And for row 8 I'm going to single crochet in the first 5 stitches. Then I will chain one and skip one stitch and single crochet in the last six stitches. And I will of course only be working into the back loops. And I will chain one and turn my work. And from here I am just going to continue in this way until I have a total of 88 rows and I will make a small hole for the waist strap on every fifth row. I am now done with all of my 88 rows and as you can see my waistband is very nice and elastic. I will now make two more rows in my ribbing and I am just going to make a single crochet in every stitch across working only into the back loops. I now have 90 rows in my ribbing and I am now going to join the edges of my ribbing to make the waistband. So I'm just going to fold it here in half and I'm going to slip stitch the two edges together. So I will just insert the hook into the stitch here on one side and into the other side and make a slip stitch. And I'll do that all the way across.
My ribbing is now joined and I will now turn my ribbing on to the right side. I am now going to continue to crochet in rounds and I will start with making a chain. And for the first round, I'm going to make a single crochet into the edge of every row in the ribbing. So I'm going to have a total of 90 single crochet. And here in the end, I'm going to slip stitch into the first stitch of the round. To start the next round, I'm going to make a chainless starting double crochet. And I will do that to avoid getting a visible seam here in the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my loop on the hook so that it is a little bit longer than a normal double crochet. And I'm going to place my finger and hold my yarn on the hook. And instead of yarning over my working yarn, I'm going to yarn over the loop on the hook. And I'm going to insert my hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. Into the next stitch I'm going to make a double crochet increase. So I'm going to make two double crochet into the same stitch. Next I'm going to make one double crochet into the next four stitches. And again I will make a double crochet increase, so I'm making two double crochet into the same stitch. And I will repeat this all the way around. I will first make a double crochet into the next four stitches and a double crochet increase into the next stitch. And here at the end of my round I'm going to make a double crochet into the last three stitches. And to join my round as seamless as possible I'm going to join my round with an invisible slip stitch. So I'm just going to stretch my loop on the hook and I'm going to take out my hook and insert it into the first stitch of the round from the back to the front. Then I'm going to take the loop and put it around the hook and pull it through. Again I will start my next round with a chainless starting double crochet stitch. So I'm going to stretch the loop on my hook and yarn over the loop, insert my hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. And from row 3 to row 17 I'm going to make a double crochet in every stitch around. I am now done with my 17th round and I am now ready to start making my first leg. So I'm going to start the next round with making a chainless starting double crochet stitch. And I will make a double crochet into the next 49 stitches. So that I have a total of 50 double crochet stitches. I now have 50 double crochet stitches and I'm now going to join my leg with an invisible slip stitch. And I will do that just as I did before. And I will again start my next round with a chainless starting double crochet stitch. And I will make a double crochet in every stitch around.
and from here I'm just going to repeat the previous round till I have a total of 12 rounds in the leg. So from round 18 to round 29 I'm going to make a double crochet in every stitch around. In round 30 I'm going to start with making a double crochet. And over the next two stitches I'm going to make a double crochet decrease. So I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook into the first stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, then I'm going to yarn over again and insert my hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And at last I will yarn over and pull through all the three loops on the hook. Into the next stitch I will make a double crochet and again over the next two stitches I will make a double crochet decrease. And I will just continue this way all the way around, alternating between a normal double crochet and a double crochet decrease. And at the end of the round I will have 33 stitches. And here at the end of the round I will make a double crochet decrease over the last two stitches. And here at the end I'm going to end my round with a slip stitch into the first stitch. And I'm going to fasten off my yarn. I am now ready to make the ribbing around the ankle. So I'm going to attach my yarn here on the inside of the leg and tie a knot. And I'm going to make nine chains. And I'm going to skip the first chain from the hook and here into the second chain from the hook I'm going to make a single crochet. And I'm going to make a single crochet in every chain in the row. I will now attach the first row of the ribbing to the leg by making a slip stitch into the next two stitches here in the leg. And I will turn my work. And to start the next row I will skip the two slip stitches that I just made and here into the next stitch I'm going to make a single crochet into the back loop. And I will make a single crochet in the back loops of every stitch of the row. And here into the very last stitch I'm going to work into both loops of the stitch. So just a normal single crochet. And I will chain one and turn my work. And for the next row I will again make a single crochet into the back loops only in every stitch of the row. And I will again attach my ribbing to my leg by making a slip stitch into the next two stitches. And I can now just repeat row 2 and row 3 till I have made 33 rows all around the leg. In the end I will turn my work onto the wrong side and sew the ribbing together with the mattress stitch. And I will fasten off and sew in my ends thoroughly. I am now ready to make the second leg and for that I'm just going to turn my work onto the back side and I'm going to attach my yarn again five stitches from the other leg. So I'm just going to count five stitches and attach my yarn here into the fifth stitch. And 
and I'm going to start with making a double crochet by first making a chain and a normal double crochet. I'm now going to work on the front side of my pants, so I'm just going to turn my work onto the front side. And again, I will count five stitches from the other leg. And here into the fifth stitch, I will again make a normal double crochet. And I will continue to make a double crochet in every stitch all the way around till I have a total of 50 double crochet stitches. And here from the second round of my second leg, I can just continue to make the leg in exactly the same way that I did the other leg. I am now done making the other leg. And the only thing left to do now is to sew the little hole together here in the crotch. And of course I'm going to do that on the wrong side. So I will turn my work onto the wrong side and sew the hole together with the mattress stitch. And I will fasten off with a knot and sew my ends in thoroughly. And my pants are almost completely done. The only thing left to do is to make the waist strap. So I'm just going to turn my work onto the right side again. And to make the strap for the waist, I will first chain 151 chains. And I will skip the first stitch and I will slip stitch into the second chain from the hook and into the next 149 stitches. And here in the end I will have a total of 150 slip stitches. I can now just put my strap through the little holes in the waistband like this. And I can tie a little bow here in the end. And that is how you make these very cute and soft little baby pants. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. And if you would like to see a lot more of these kinds of videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more videos like this. So have a nice day and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.